so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are discussing google deep minds new architecture called as mixture of recursions i have already explained this in quite some detail in my previous video but this time i am going into details of how mixture of recursion is different from mixture of exports model and what does mixture of recursions brings into the picture so talking about the introduction uh, google deepmind has announced a new architecture called as mixture of recursion though mixture of export already exists both aim to reduce latency and model size without sacrificing the performance the aim remains the same but how they do it it's different so first of all let's understand what is mixture of experts moe you might have heard a lot of times now moe breaks the model into shared base layer multiple specialized experts are there and router activates only two to four experts per token so for example if this is the whole architecture at a time just certain section of the model would be getting activated not the entire model hence you're not loading the entire model in your system hence saving on memory also and saving computation also talking about mor mor takes a different approach it is a transform block which loops multiple times so basically you are using the same set of weights you are not uh, wasting the resources though the model can be huge but the weights remain the same and the same set of weights are getting repeated multiple times it's like one doctor examining you as many times as needed now let's jump on to the uh, differences so the first one is an architecture difference as you understand mixture of experts not the entire architecture is getting activated at a time so you can see if this is the architecture only half of it is getting activated in this example it is a wide architecture and sparsely activated not everything is activated mixture of recursion is a little different it's a deep architecture it doesn't have multiple branches and it has token specific depth so depending upon the token how many blocks should be repeated uh, is decided upon the token so the entire architecture do get used but how many times a block should get repeated depends upon the token talking about the model size and parameters mixture of expert looks light in use but hides a monster because you need to load that you need to have the entire model ready with you right even if the model has 1 trillion parameters and you are activating just 32 billion but still entire model has to be with you right sparse compute but heavy memory usage is there in case of mixture of recursion it is very efficient to be honest because the same block is getting multiple times repeated hence the weights are not you don't need to store repeated weights right you are storing the weights just one a 118 million mor model can beat a 300 million standard transformer so it in terms of efficiency uh, on model size and parameters i think mixture of recursion is the better one inference latency moe looks efficient on paper stumbles in practice because see i think moe is now adopted by many companies many llms are following that architecture it has a scattered memory access and cross device traffic issues are there because if you're loading the entire model in one go you, it would be on different devices right 200 gbs can't come into single chip so once you're activating different parts it becomes a problem mor skips the chaos of expert routing right predicts memory usage and early exit for simple tokens so here also in terms of inference latency mor is any day better training behavior and stability moe expert collapses happen over using a few experts while ignoring others so it might be the case that certain sections of the model are getting overused while others are just not getting touched also requires extra loss terms and load balancing and very complex and fragile training in case of uh, mor no expert pool no imbalance issues i think it's quite straightforward because architecture you are not changing anything you are just repeating the same weights right balances loops with expert choice and token choice strategy it is more stable routing strategy learns a router predicts which experts to activate in moe there is a router present the router is trained alongside the model routing becomes a performance bottleneck while in case of mor local and cheaper routing you you are though you are training it it's quite cheap i think if i tell you the entire expert 
there are two choices expert choice and token choice which is mostly rule based so they are not training any other model also so in terms of routing strategy which part uh, in case of moe you need to train a model while in case of mr it's just not required it's a rule based solution hardware and deployment moe is built for big setups these are huge models 1 trillion 690 billion etc requires smart sharding across accelerators need support for sparse sparse tensors and ideal for google scale infrastructure you would require a huge infrastructure to have an moe while mor is working with standard transformers implementable with normal pytorch and jax fits in existing pipelines and deployable at consumer end also so they are quite small use case scenarios uh mo is for large scale pre training multitask data set high capacity requirements well resourced organizations can only afford it mor is not for big scale training do remember that it's for smaller llms as mentioned in the paper also speed and efficiency are critical cost sensitive deployments and edge device deployments so for smaller llms i think mor is a good choice but if you're going with a huge model mo is a bit better choice now coming to the final thoughts mo is is like many brains fewer activated mor one brain is present used multiple times mo is for a billion dollar llm performance while mor is for fast efficient models so in short i think mo is mo is mostly for bigger models while mor is for more smaller models edge devices and looking at everything else i think mor is beating out moe on if you take the same set of parameters at a small level but i think mor is not tested for huge models so we still need to wait how that happens what are the changes and for now i think mo is is more suited for bigger llms while mor is more suited for smaller llms thank you so much